Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Back at it again. Love it. Do some jigging off this bridge near the bridge. One of my favorite spots. I got this new lure. I forgot the name and uh, a buddy of mine, Brian, who had actually repaired the rod that I broke on that tourney. He did a bang up job here. What a nice gentleman he was. Uh, and he actually gave me this lure too. So I'm going to give this a try and see if we can kind of snag something. We'll dedicate this to him. Thanks, Brian. So first cast, Let's see if we can get a good enough spot here like per usual. Water level's back high, good. Let's get that down low. Sorry for the glare folks. This is the time of day though. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, get out of there. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so I got no net here, folks. But what I got to do is tire this guy out. Look at that. Bang up job by Brian too. Hook me up one with this lure and two. Oh boy. Two fixing my rod. Sweet. We got a little guy here. Hey. Look at that top of the nose. Look at that. Oh, don't want to tangle you up there. Don't want to hurt this guy. There we go. Nice little lure. That's awesome. Look at that. Nice little guy, huh? Probably about a pound. Nothing too crazy. Feels good. Feels good. as possible thanks bud Brian <laughs> you're the man I'll, I'll put the make of it um, in the description below because uh, that's pretty awesome nice you know nice little hit let's see if we can do some more damage oh no Thought that was a bite. Oh. There goes that lure. Oh, man, that's tough. Off the leader, too. Well, that was a turn of events, wasn't it? All right. Let's put this one... Uh, Put this one down, see if we can get anything with the lizard. Oh, what a shame. Nice little lure. Next up in the lineup, trusty old lizard, which has been getting some like good sized fish. Three plus pounders, three and a half plus pounders. Okay, let me show you. Texas rig. Oh, it's not good. And, uh, see if I can work it here darn it I can't believe that I had a good feeling about that other lure too I think it was gonna be just a big pro producer today but... when the tail goes kind of kills that so let's uh, tie on something else 
a lot of good plastics that's been working around here lately. Um, the Rage Craw, you know, have been good. These crawdads, they're really good. They actually perform really well um, after a full moon. And there was a full moon yesterday, so that's when they perform the best. Yeah, let's go back to the to the Rage Tail. The Rage Tail. Let's see how that performs. Rage Tail. Got to pick up some more of these guys. Nice thick body with the legs uh, or the claws, I guess. Nice big, nice juicy profile. Fish cannot resist. <laughs> what are you? What am I filming? I'm filming the ground. Okay, so let's look at this. Put that in. Come out one way. Turn it. The way across and how to measure this when you want to go back the other side I do it like that so the bottom of that hook that's where you want to penetrate that hook because it's gonna give it the slack it needs to uh, to come up through the plastic and then it becomes a you know that extra wide gap hook becomes flush that's what you want so for, it gives you kind of a weedless it gives you a weedless action so you get hung up less and uh, you know when the fish bite it, 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 it provides, provides enough strength where you're gonna, where uh, it's gonna it's gonna push down on the hook and it's gonna hook that fish. It's a good time of the day. It's about six o'clock. Sun is gonna, I mean, sun's gonna start setting pretty pretty soon. Kind of a good good time. Get a, a couple hours in or hour and a half in. Do a bit of casting. Caught one fish, less than three casts, and now we lost that lure that I really liked. That's gonna bother me. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, I spoke too soon. That's a good one. Oh, barely hooked. Sometimes you wish you had that net, huh? Tire him out. Oh, that's a good one. Good hook. Let's bring another one back in. you guys how I tie this on real quick if you don't want to see this just skip forward to something else um, the, this here top part when you do a Texas rig is the bobber stop this is these are the this is one of the ones that I use there's a link in the description um, you know, some of the bobber stops there I think they're just colored black I have multicolor black yellow and red I would just go with black to be very honest so now you have this bobber stop and then next you put in this bullet weight. And the idea is that this bullet weight is stopped by the bobber stop here. So, you know, the, the, the weight doesn't slide down. Uh, what I like to use and what you should use for the Texas rig are your extra wide gaps, EWG if you go to the store. And they look kind of like these cool J's. And really what allows it to do is that when you put on your, your plastics, um, you can actually have the hook flush, so sitting parallel to the side of the body. And really what that does, it gives it a weedless application. So uh, the, I, can, I totally know uh, what you're all thinking right now, the irony that I've just got hung up twice. <laughs> but uh, that's really what it's supposed to do. Um, anyway, so... You tie that on. I, as you know, as I like to use, is the Polymer knot. That's it. You tie that, tie that bad boy up. 
boom, then you get your uh, your plastics. And what took me much too long to uh, to gear up was is the uh, is the Texas rig. So, guys, use this rig. It's good stuff. Got one. Little guy. Little guy. Okay, so a little darker now and during the day. I wasn't getting anything off the top water and I decided to go back to the jig. Um, wow, what a great hook. I don't know if you can see that top of the top of the nose there. And uh, what I did was um, I kind of mixed up the uh, retrieve a little bit. Instead of kind of hitting it at the bottom, what I did was pulled it more along the side, more of like a sidearm. So it kind of mimicked the Instead of, instead of a crawfish jumping from the bottom, it's kind of like swimming away. So maybe, you know, I'm thinking that it got darker, the fish kind of, kind, of, kind of got up more, a little bit more suspended rather than the bottom. And uh, he chased it. It was a good hit too. Small guy, but you know, good hit. I'll take that. I'm gonna catch him again in a couple years when he's a six pounder. <laughs> All right. As usual, a roller coaster of emotions today. <laughs> got to try out some new, uh, a new lure that I got from a buddy, and uh, it worked fantastic. It's too bad I only got one shot at it. The next cast, hung up, lost. Uh, tough one. I, I just pinged him to see if uh, I could figure out what those are. Like I said, I'll, if I get that make a model, I'll put that in the um, in the description below, and hopefully you can tell me where to get them. I'll make sure I'll share that with you folks. Uh, yeah, so I'm longing back now and uh, caught three fish today, good size ones. And uh, I'll, you know, we, we, we Texas rigged it, trying different styles of the craw. I mixed up a retrieve, which I, I thought I was gonna get hot on at the end, and then I got hung up. So I think that was the cue to leave. And uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, it sucks that you, you lose these lures, um, but that's life and uh, it was fun regardless so I'm gonna sign off guys thanks for joining me if you like the video you know what to do hit like uh, you want us to be see some more videos make sure you subscribe uh, and leave a uh, leave your comments in the comment section below love to hear from you thanks again for joining me and uh, make sure you go ahead and get outdoors see ya